Hi, this video will talk about how to find a log. All right, so let's review logs for a second. Remember, a log is just a different way of writing a power. If there's no base or no subscript next to the word log, then we assume log base 10. All right, and what we're basically doing is asking ourselves, let's take this part of the first example. All right, what we're basically doing if we have log of 0 0.01 is asking ourselves 10 to what power equals 0 0.01 okay and now we know in this case 10 to the negative 2 all right equals 0 0.01 so log of 0 0.01 is equal to negative 2 all right so I'm going to do a few examples here in the first one I can substitute the log of 0 0.01 for negative 2. Why? Because they're equal. All right. And I want to do that um, first before I multiply by this 5 out front. So if you have a number out front, just ignore it. Take the log of this, I know is negative 2. All right. And then I'll multiply it by 5. And I'll get negative 10. Okay. Let's look at another example. I have the log of 10. Let's go over here. The log of 10 is basically asking you because there's no subscript here we assume a 10 10 to what power equals 10 well any number raised to the it first power equals itself so I know that the log of 10 equals 1 why because 10 to the 1 equals 10 so I can substitute here a 1 let's look at the second part I have the log of point Oh, 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 point oh, oh, 0.001 okay again off to the side think about this as 10 to what power equals point oh, oh, 0.001 all right we know that 10 raised to the negative 3 power equals point oh, oh, 0.001 all right so this is actually equal to negative 3 so I can substitute that in for this part okay but I'm not done I have to do the final step which said to add the two. So we get 1 minus 3, which is a negative 2. Example 3 starts to show you what you do if you have a different base. Again, if there's no base written and you have LOG, you assume a 10. If there's a base written, then now we ask ourselves this number to what power equals that number. So in this case, I get 3 to what power equals 27. Okay? So I know 3 to the third, all right, so I know this is 3 to the third equals 27, so that's what this is equal to, all right. And then finally, we can have natural logs. Natural logs are base E, okay, so instead of writing L-O-G, we write L-N, all right, and what that means if we were to write it in LOG is that there's an actual base E but instead of writing a base E we just write LN so we know it's natural log it's kinda of written backwards um, instead of NL for natural log it's written LN okay so now we have the natural log of E cubed in this first part okay so E to what power equals E cubed well that would have to be E to the third power so this is going to be a 3. And over here we've got e to what power equals e to the negative 2. Well, that would have to be a negative 2. So just like in example 2, I've substituted for these values, but now I have to do the final step and add them. 3 minus 2 equals 1. So that is how we can evaluate a log. Be careful of the bases. If there's not one written to LOG, assume 10. If there's one written, you need to take that as your base. And if it's LN, E is your base. Okay? And then get used to asking yourself, 10 to what power equals this number? Okay? And that's how we, evaluate, that's how we find a log.